Hey everybody, it's your girl Tink Marche and I am back with another one. Unfortunately, this is a different type of video um, information in my Snapchat DM in regards to the TikTok star Desaria Quint. I don't want to say her last name to mess it up, but um, she was a TikTok star. Also, she was also a YouTuber as well. And as you know, guys, by now, Miss Desaria was found deceased in her closet. Um, and that was on February the 8th that she was found in her closet. And I think the story for me triggered me because I've had someone really, really, really really near and dear to me to do the same and some of the things that I feel like we we miss in a lot of our loved ones lives maybe we just missed the we missed the small things we missed the small warnings we missed the um and and a lot of times we miss it because a lot of our friends and our family members are smiling as they're going through and I need us to be able to pay attention to the signs. I need us to use our gift of discernment. If that person is kind of off that day or maybe they're really, really depressed or, you know, and I always say you have to check on the, the happy friends too. check on your happy friends because you never know what it is that they're going through. And especially during this pandemic, I myself um, have had issues with depression due to the fact that I miscarried um, two months ago, roughly. And then also I lost someone, like I said, was near and dear to me the same way that we lost Desaria. Now, Desaria was very, very beautiful. And um, she was a native of Louisiana. And she was also at the age of a, a tender age of 18. So this is really, really tragic seeing that Desaria was really, really letting her presence be known on TikTok and YouTube. But one thing I do want to um, leave with you guys, and I'm, I'm not trying to take up too much of your time, is just like the warning signs that you need to look for in your loved one's life and the patterns that you need to look for in your loved one's speech, the way they move and the way that they sound. Because a lot of times they may sound fine over the phone, but then their appearance may be a little off. And then maybe they sound great in person, but then their tone is a little off, you know? So you just have to pay attention. So this is one of the signs, um, clear and easy sign to observe is talking about dying or wanting to die. Okay, talking about dying or wanting to die. A lot of times they may say something to the extent of, you know, I'm ready to go. Or they may say, um, I'm ready to, I'm just ready to go. They'll say something in a, maybe in a jokingly way. And, and you may think it's, they may be a goofy person and it may come off as you know, a joke, but if they're saying they're wanting to die, pay attention to that. Talking about feeling empty, hopeless, or having no way out of problems. Ooh, that's that's a deep one right there. Because like I said, we're going through a pandemic and a lot of people are losing their jobs or their hours are being cut. So definitely keep that in mind as you're talking to your family members and your loved ones. Mentioning strong feelings of guilt and shame talking about not having a reason to live or that others would be better off without them. And this is key because sometimes they'll say something like, you know, I'm just not, I'm just not who I once was, or maybe they feel like, you know, they're not good enough, or maybe they're always like really, really like hard on themselves. And, you, and harder than usual. They're usually like steadfast on talking about their flaws a lot. Um, social withdrawal and isolation. Oh my goodness. 
don't want to go nowhere. You tell them, you know, you want to take them out and they're excited. But then when it's time to come out, they're not they're not even ready to go or they'll counsel on you or, you know, they just don't answer their phone. I know my loved one, he he stopped answering the phone. Um, That was one thing that worried me about him giving away personal items and wrapping up loose ends. Ooh, so like giving away their cell phones, clothes, pictures, you know, you know, stuff that you know that they normally wouldn't give away, they're giving it away. That's a telltale sign. Saying goodbye to friends and family, constantly over and over again, telling you that they love you, they, 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 you know, maybe they're saying they're sorry about something that they did and, you know, or maybe they're, you know, just kind of, they're just constantly apologizing or constantly overshowering you with love. But remind, now, mind you, they're doing this out of sadness. Or maybe they're doing this with like a, a sly smile. You have to pay attention to your people, y'all, because this is getting super, super depressing to watch young women and men take their lives because they just simply don't have anybody to talk to or under or they feel like they're misunderstood and we've all been there so let's let's try to be more attentive to the people that we may call crazy or weird or a black sheep you know we need to pay attention to that I just wanted to get on here and say that this this story definitely triggered something in me. I couldn't stop thinking about it. Um, And now that the reports are out or now that they're reporting on it pretty much everywhere, I just wanted to give my take on it. And this is this is the only thing that came to my heart is the fact that we don't talk about the signs, the warning signs. I hope you guys be safe. Love on yourself. Love on love on your family members. And just know that there's someone that cares about you. All right. Love y'all. Bye. You gonna break this? Desaria! Jennifer! Stop. You promised me. I'm not, you cannot tell me at the last minute like that. I know. We do you love me? Do you love me? Yes, but I'm not going to Desaria, stop. I got a headache as it is. Damn, man. You are going to You want to stay in a motel for the rest of your life? No, but... Morning, morning, morning.